All right, guys, we're here in uh, Djibouti. I think uh, the city's called Djibouti, also the country's named Djibouti. Yeah, we'll see how this goes because I've heard mixed reviews from other travelers that uh, it could be a little difficult to, to film in this area or just in this country in general, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I think I'm in the downtown area. And if you notice in the buildings, you're gonna see some French uh, influence because uh, this place was under the French for a while. That's why also the currency is Djibouti and Frank. For this video, I don't really have much to be, much planned so far. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna walk around and see what happens. Let me go on the left side. Just gonna walk around and, and see what happens, check out the vibe. I was also looking online, I believe the, they have multiple ethnic groups here, but I think the two biggest ones are Somali and Afar. Now, I don't speak Somali. Arabic's supposed to be another um, highly spoken language here. And then French, I don't speak any of the three. All I know in French is, uh, toi, comment allez-vous, oui, oui. That's pretty much it. I think fourth, uh, English may be the fourth spoken language, uh, most spoken language here, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So this might just be a simple walking video. And I've heard that uh, this is one of the most camera phobic countries. Two, three minutes in, uh, it's okay, it's going okay. I will say I haven't passed any, uh, Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, up oh, never mind, I spoke too soon. There goes one guy. Yeah, so if I if I cut if I cut this off, if I cut this off and you see me in the room, you you know why. We're gonna we're gonna see how long this goes. Another thing about this area or this country is that from what I understand they receive a lot of aid from foreign countries for having military bases here. So I believe China, US, I don't know if it was France or or another uh, country has military base, has a military base here. So they receive a lot of, uh, a lot of money from that. And so when I first got here, people, the guy immigration, when I showed him my passport, he said, where's your ID? I said, hmm, that's weird. I never was asked for uh, my country ID, so I showed it to him. He said, no, 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 your military ID, where is it? I said, man, I'm not in the military. He said, oh, you're not? I thought you were. I said, nope. Nope, not in the military. So I assume that this country isn't really uh, a major tourism hotspot for Americans. If an American comes, usually they're probably a, a diplomat or they're here, you know, military order or something. Oh no, so I don't have it. Yeah. Oh, we almost got knocked out. Oh, that's pretty close. Just walking, uh, walk over here. Yeah, and if you guys are been keeping up with the videos, you've noticed that I was in uh, Somalia, depending on your political stance, Somaliland, whatever, I'm not gonna get into that. And I'm here in Djibouti. Basically the past areas I've been in, they have a large Somali presence. Hold on, let me get through. I think straight ahead is the market. I'm probably gonna skip that. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, hold on. Well, well, let's head straight real quick, the beautiful buildings. So this area has a lot of Somalis. If you go to certain part of Ethiopia, they have a lot of, they have a Somali ethnic group there. And then also, um, I think I believe north, the northern part of Kenya has a Somali ethnic group. So those are five regions that have a lot of, I think the, the area in Ethiopia is called Ogad, Ogaden, or something like that. Hold on, let me gather my thoughts real quick while I, here was the central market. 
I'm gonna better explain that what I just said. Hold on. Let me make this turn. Yeah, the central market was to my left. I'm not feeling like going into markets right now and seeing clothing items and, and fruits. Just wanna show you the vibe. And we're right across the water from Yemen. So you have Yemeni influence. You have influence from southern part of Asia. You have influence from other parts of East Africa. Hey, hello. 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 You want to say something? Yeah, you. It's camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, are you, where are you from? USA. Where, where are you from? I'm from Djibouti. Oh, Djibouti. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah what? Yeah. Where I'm, are you from? USA. USA. Oh, yeah, good, good. Nice. Good, nice. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to Djibouti. Thank you. Thank you. All right, shout out to him. I hope he didn't get offended. My camera's in my right hand. I pounded him with the left. I know in some cultures, the left hand is the nasty hand. Let me walk over here. So I hope he didn't get offended, but I don't think he did. Oh man, I should have walked on the right side. Oh, actually, no, I did well. Hold on guys, give me one second. All right, we're back. Oh man, there is a uh, security there. No any problems. Damn, I forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about something about how there's a lot of Somalis in this area that are spread out among different countries. Basically, uh, that's what I was trying to say. Let me go. Uh, I'm gonna go behind these guys. Are you? Hey, what's up? You want to say something? You want to say something? Hold on. Damn. Yeah, shout out to Djibouti. Yeah, J Djibouti? Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to uh, Djibouti. Got uh, another military personnel coming up, so give me one. So, never mind, we'll just take a left. Let's go uh, left side. I've been walking for a little bit and it looks like I'm in the, the bourgeois area. Maybe, maybe not. Here goes the taxis right here, the green cars, the green vehicles. Yeah. yeah it looks like maybe I'm in the, the bourgeois area. So we went from, I believe, the downtown area or the historic district to the bougie semi bougie district then we're gonna head close to the there's a mall I'm heading to real quick so that's where I'm walking I think we're near the the water not really much to see right now I'm gonna take a left grab something to eat real quick at the mall I'm hoping at the mall they accept credit cards because I didn't really exchange too much uh, if I'm going to a place, I'm only there for a few days. I don't exchange uh, a lot of currency. So that's why I'm headed to the mall. Hopefully they got a spot to eat where that accepts uh, credit cards. But we'll find out in a second. Give me one second. Oh yeah, there, I see it. All right guys, quick update here at the mall. It's pretty empty, but it is a weekday. Well, today's Sunday. Remember in the Islamic world, Sunday is a weekday. All right, some countries it's, I think originally in Islam, it was Thursday, Friday, but uh, due to, basically it switched for some countries to Friday to Saturday to help do business. Oh, I'm picking and choosing where I film because I was talking to another traveler and I heard, uh, I heard about this, that one traveler was taking pictures just of like the architecture and stuff and a cop seeing it and had him remove all the pictures and I've heard other people having eh, some issues trying to you know film and just take pictures over here so I don't want to get to a situation uh, where I'm filming I'm 
you know, sweating to get all this footage. And, 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 and at the last minute, cops like, I come across the wrong person. He's like, yeah, delete all the footage, you know? So that's why I'm kind of picking and choosing. But after I get something to eat, I'm gonna try to show you some more street views for people who've never been here or people who are thinking about coming. Uh, yeah. Shout out to these guys out here hustling, selling fish. It's pretty hot out, but they're still trying to get it. And speaking of fish, when it comes to not just the, the people here, but also the food, different cultures that have many different influences, African, Arabic, South Asian, shout out to the Indians and Yemeni, maybe some other ones. And if you're like, what's Yemenis from Yemen? And last night I had a, what's very popular here, Yemeni fish. This is what I believe is Yemeni food. I think it's called Yemeni fish or something like that. And if you're wondering, Sly, why don't you eat food from Djibouti? Man, from doing research, I couldn't really find any places that sold authentic Djibouti food. Again, from looking online, mostly what I saw is Yemeni restaurants, Indian restaurants, a few French restaurants. It seems like if you want local Djibouti food, you have two options. One, have it homemade. Or two, you have to go to maybe a really, like you have to really go deep into Djibouti, like a super mom and pop local shop where you know, there's flies everywhere and the food's probably been out for a while. That's what, it, that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. But that was Yemeni, that was a Yemeni fish right there with some sauces. Then they had chapati, which is basically similar to roti, roti. Anyways, let me head to the last spot along this uh, trip. Here we have the uh, beach. It's gonna be the last stop. Pretty sure the beaches outside of the city will be a lot better. Kind of uh, low tide right now. Yep, yep, I think I'm gonna end the video right here. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little taste of Djibouti. I wanna say a joke, it's gonna be a lame joke, I know. It's gonna be a little corny, but I always want to say this. I guess it's not Djibouti, it's Djibouti. Some of you guys got that. But this was a little taste of Djibouti. Just, I should stay in the city, they have other sites that are outside of the city like we're near the red sea so djibouti has one like one of the saltiest lakes in the world also one of the lowest points in the world so you can go visit those places and um yeah they, they got other stuff they got other stuff but i'm a i'm a city guy so that's my i prefer to stay in the city but either way this was a little bit of djibouti hope you enjoyed the video military convoy coming up let me hear it end it and i'll catch you guys at the next one deuces